Welcome back down the wormhole and today we are talking about goldfish and what to feed other than goldfish. I have got five piranhas downstairs that are definite predators and I'm sure you guys have got some other wonderful fish that love eating feeders. Now goldfish aren't the greatest feeder out there for a few reasons. A goldfish are very fatty. No, uh, sorry, don't listen Casey. But they are a very fatty type of goldfish and too much fat can also lead to fat fish, fat predators. Not something that we're trying to get when we have our pets. If we want them to be happy and healthy. Another bad thing that happened with these goldfish is well, they're kept very cramped in very small spaces and not taken care of the best of. This leaves them open to different parasites, worms, and all sorts of things that you are now transferring into your fish's tank. That is not the greatest thing to have going into their bellies when some of these worms, that's where they live, is in their bellies. So to avoid this, there are some other things that you can definitely feed them. One of the main things that I think are bad for goldfish in their being feeder fish <laughs> is that they have a thiamine inside of them and that thiamine will prevent the absorption of your B1 vitamin which is a very essential vitamin for basically anything. It can lead to anorexia and other awful behaviors and just generally get your fish sick over time especially when combined with the fat. So let's look at some other things that we do feed the piranhas <clears throat> in this house. So these are the first goodies that I do feed my big guys downstairs. They just love these. These are shrimp. They are super easy to get a hold of. I just find these in the frozen food section of the grocery store. Nothing fancy, generally just whatever happens to be on sale is what I give these guys. They get these about, I would say, once every two weeks. <laughs> They don't much like eating with the lights on for filming, so don't mind them if they do seem like they're being a little bit shy. One of my favorite things to feed my piranhas, which is also a big food for a lot of predators out there, is insects. I have my own feeder insects, and you can also buy these at most stores as well. I have mealworms here that I grow myself and I've also started raising isopods so that I can increase their insect variety that I, keep, that I can give them. So here is the mealworm colony. As you can see, I do split them up so that they can have the worms in one area of the bin and the beetles in another area of the bin. It does seem to get me a lot more for productivity in there, otherwise I just was not getting the numbers that I needed to sustain the size of the piranhas and the other critters in my house. I feed these guys to both the gecko and my goldfish as well. These are some of the new isopods that I've picked up. The colony is doing just amazing and they're super easy to feed and raise as well. A little pinch of fish food here and there, some dried leaves, and away you go with another healthy variety of insects to feed your critters around your fish room. One of the other big things that you can raise yourself is a feeder fish of your own. These are my guppies. I love playing with some of the variety and seeing if I can make something out of them myself. But you can also go to the pet store like these and pick up other types of live bearers such as platies, sword tails, mollies. There's lots of different things that you can raise and try. Just whatever you think looks pretty. Of course, one of the other main things that you can feed your big guys is there are a ton of pellets and foods out there. Lots of different ingredients. Make sure to check the size of the pellet to make sure that it will fit your feeder fish and that the formula that you pick is something suitable for your critters. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next Friday.